Hello, so today I'm going to be doing something a bit different on my channel. I've decided to do a bit of a paint with me video. Um, so I'm just going to do a bit of a voiceover over the video. I know it's a bit different, so bear with. <laughs> um, so here I'm just opening up my Wonder and Newton paints, which I just got. Um, I've been using these really awful, awful um, paints that I just had lying around that I think I brought from B&M or something. They were goo ash, you can see that on the palette there where I've been doing a couple other paintings. Um, so I've just, this is my first time using these, these just came in the mail uh, today or yes, no today. So I thought, perfect for filming a new video and I'll get to try out these paints while I'm at it. So I'm just doing a wee sketch. I've basically got a small Pinterest board with some like fruits and vegetables that I want to paint saved on my computer so you can see that at the top. So I'm just looking at that reference photo. Um, I'm not doing it exactly like the photo, not even like the colours and stuff, I'm just taking that as a reference and then just doing what I feel like. So I really liked these paints for mixing, they, they had a really nice consistency and the, the colours they made were really vibrant, like there wasn't much like muddiness of the colours, um, which I quite liked. It kept, even though I was mixing different pigments together, the colour that I was getting was still really strong, um, which I struggled with with the last paint, uh, paints I was using. They just didn't seem to, I felt like I really had to work to get the colour rather than just it being quite a natural flow between the two paints. Yeah, so I'm actually not a painter at all. I actually don't like painting, but since the lockdown, I've taken it up just for something to do, really. Um, obviously, I work with metal, so I can't really do much at home at all. Um, I've been kind of going over like concepts and stuff in my head but there's actually not much else I can do. I've been doing like sketching and stuff but I don't know I was getting quite bored and and I felt like I wanted to be creative in a way but I just didn't I wasn't sure how. Like recently I'd taken up knitting which was it was really good and it was keeping me occupied but I felt like I was kind of getting a bit bored of it like the repetitiveness of it and I felt like I needed something to change up my routine a bit. So I started painting about a week ago I think, uh, I've just been doing small paintings of fruits in my uh, moleskin sketchbook, which is the one I'm painting now if you're wondering, it's just the moleskin sketchbook, like it's not multimedia or anything, but I feel like it works with paints quite well, um, I didn't get much like disturbance of the paper with the water or anything. Yeah, so, like I was saying about being a bit bored during lockdown, it's kind of been a bit difficult, um, not really knowing what to do, and so that's why I've kind of decided I just wanted to take up a bit of painting. It's literally something I, I hate. I hate painting so much, I don't know why. I've always hated it since college. I like like drawing with paint like I don't mind like doing like life drawing and stuff with paint I don't mind paint as a medium but painting objects it's just not my thing I don't know why although it's really weird because I'm really enjoying it now I suppose it's probably probably because I've, no one's asking me to do it like it's not like a tutor saying like oh you need to do six paintings like for a deadline it's just me in my sketchbook painting away, not really thinking about stuff. I always put like videos on in the background and wear my headphones and it's just a nice time to like chill out and yeah just I suppose that's the other thing like this one is probably 
one of the worst ones well not the worst actually because I've done two lemons which I absolutely hate but this one's probably like it's, it's just not a great painting at the end I mean it's it's, it's alright I mean, it doesn't look awful but it doesn't look great either but I think that's another part of the joy of it because I'm not like nobody's expect nobody's gonna see these really well yous are obviously gonna see it now because I've decided to film it but they're in my sketchbook I'm just playing about with paints I'm not painting it for anyone no one's it's not there for people to judge it's just to keep me happy and something that I'm enjoying during the lockdown it's not for any other reason than that and I suppose that's probably why I'm enjoying it so much because it's just for me and I don't actually make much art just for me I mean I feel like I, I do make art for myself through my concepts and stuff but there always seems to be a deadline or like a restriction or it needs to be done a certain way or you need to like sometimes I feel it's hard especially being in art school to just create and not have to have all this stuff like like I, I have like concepts and stuff but haven't it like present it to someone else so they fully understand each step and so they can mark it and, and grade you on it I feel like that's quite a it's not even that it's bad but it also puts another like added anxiety onto you so when you're making you're constantly having to think about five six different things instead of just focusing all your energy on the piece of art that you're creating So I've been quite enjoying just letting go a wee bit and, and just painting, just sitting and I know I'm not a great painter and I am more 3D than 2D but I mean, I don't know, I just, I've just really been enjoying it. I also think these actually kind of turn out more like peaches than oranges, but that's fine. <laughs> like I was saying, it's not for anybody, I'm not really, I'm just doodling really. It's just like if you were doodling on a bit of paper, but except I'm using a different medium. I love how like strong these colours are, they're so bold and they're so opaque as well like I didn't find it like how can I explain it with the, the paints that I was using before I think they were Daler and Rowney or whatever that brand's called it was like to get that opaqueness you had to build it up and build it up and build it up it wasn't even like water I don't, it didn't even feel like gouache like it felt like I don't even know how to explain it, like poster paint almost. Like it was just crap. And it was like, I mean, the results I got of it were fine in the end, but it was taking me so long to just get what I wanted. Whereas the colours laid down so nice with this paint. I actually, it made the process a lot more fun. So I hope everyone's been doing well in the lockdown. Um, I'm starting to get a bit fed up now. Uh, just not got much to do in the house and technically uni's over. Um, they're basically just grading us on what we've done in the past, like over the year. Uh, so we'll find out our grade on the 29th of May, which is scary because <laughs> obviously this is my final year so it's my graduating grade really which is quite daunting I suppose because it's going to kind of determine where I go next in my education. I'm in the midst of applying for a master's in sculpture again so I just need to wait and see if I mean I'm in the middle of making my portfolio so I don't know if I'll make that into a video or not but 
been quite stressful because obviously with the lockdown we've not we've missed out on a lot like degree show which means I'm pretty much six months of teaching and access to like studios and um workshops and materials and stuff so I've actually only really made half the work I should have this year which is quite scary because I feel like I've only got half a portfolio in a sense um which is hard when like I'm not really sure what they're gonna do about it we've not been told anything yet so it's quite like scary because I don't know what I can do with what I've, what I've got in regards to where I can go next like in education even things for like applying for jobs and residencies and stuff like I don't have much of a portfolio to show them my work and it's hard to do what I want to do at home because well I don't have a welder or the facilities to use metal at home so we just have to wait and see if I get into the master's course or not I find out in June So at this point I'm quite enjoying how the painting's looking. Um I think I go on to add a bit of a shadow here, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's just my inner critic, but I really like how it is now. Um maybe I should have stopped there with maybe a couple of more details right now, like but Oh, I don't know how I feel about the final piece like I go on to do a bit of a background and I don't know it's nice as a bit of a study there but as I said it's just my sketchbook so Con. so I'm thinking about doing more of these videos um not really sure the, the, I don't know if they're going to be a good thing on my channel or not just because it's been vlogs since day one pretty much with a couple of more informational videos so I'm just going to see how this one does and if people are enjoying it or if I'm enjoying it even because sometimes it's not just for you guys but like I watch my old vlogs back so much like I love just having that memory what I was doing and especially like having my friends and stuff in the vlogs it's it's nice just to like reminisce a little yeah these are definitely looking like peaches but oh well So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you enjoy this or if you would like me to do more. I have bought, so these paints are the Windsor & Newton gouache, I also bought Windsor & Newton acrylics as well, so I might be doing a video of me painting with them, but for now I'm actually quite enjoying the gouache. It's something that I never really got to grips with in college when we were learning like like in our painting classes which were like um oh what's the word I'm looking for oh, I forgot like we had to take them and didn't have a choice um so like in the painting classes like that we uh, it was actually this set of gouache that I had um well the same brand that I had back in college and I never really got to grips with how to use it really like 
I don't I don't really know. My painting has come on a lot. I don't know how because I haven't painted. <laughs> but it definitely has. I mean, I wasn't used to mixing colours really that much or I would get muddy colours or I liked to use things straight out of the, out the tube for some reason when I was younger but I don't know. I just think that I'm quite enjoying using the gouache and I might want to just keep learning. I have been watching like a lot of painters on YouTube and just just kind of looking at their technique and so it's an interesting paint because it can go both ways it can be really opaque but it can also be like almost like watercolour so yeah Sorry about my head getting in the shot there. I didn't really realise I was leaning that far forward. Like kinda at the end I kinda struggled a little bit because I was looking for this opacity that I just couldn't get. Like I kept adding water because I feel like the gouache is quite it's quite sticky. So when I was using it like almost straight out the tube, it was really hard to move on the paper and then when I added water I just lost the opacity so much. So I ended up kind of building it up here and obviously I went in to concentrate <laughs> but yeah that's that's coming to the end now so thank you for watching it's nice to do something a bit different than vlogging um and I do hope I can make more of these videos subscribe and like the video thank you for watching bye